Hey guys, it's Lee and I am back today with another Dollar Tree haul for you. I found so many cool things this time around. I know my last haul was complaining because my stores didn't really have that much. Well, today I went to two stores. I got all this stuff in two stores. I was gonna go to a couple more, but honestly, I didn't feel like it after I had already been to these two. I'm regretting that a little bit right now because I'm thinking maybe there was some great stuff in those stores too. I'll have to find out when I go back out later this week. All right, so let me get started and show you all the good things I found today. First off, I found this Barilla Organic Penne and it's a one pound box for a dollar. I think that is a great deal. The not organic, organic version costs more than a dollar at the grocery store. So I picked up six of them and no, I didn't clear the shelf for those of you who are concerned. They had plenty. And these do not expire until February of 2023. So these will last us quite a long time. And happy I found them. Barilla is my favorite brand of pasta, so I was pretty thrilled. I also picked up just two of the Barilla veggie spaghetti. They also had gluten-free spaghetti. This was the Queen Street store, if anybody is looking for these. They were on an end cap. I found the Reynolds Wrap pre-cut pop-up foil sheets and you get 25 in the box and I picked up two boxes of these just to have on hand. I like these when I'm freezing sandwiches or just if I want to line a pan really quickly. I picked up one of these two packs of chopping mats and those are for a rat cage. In keeping with the animal theme, I just picked up a cat litter scoop just because you know you need to replace those every now and then so I grabbed one of those by scrub buddies I picked up two different types of sponges I got these printed scrub sponges and they have flowers and they're sort of a brownie yellowy orangey color <laughs> and then I just grabbed a pack of these printed scrub sponges just good to have sponges around. Next I found this Badia Moho Marinade. I thought I would give it a try. They had a bunch, well they were all the same flavor, but they had a bunch of them. I just got one because I want to see what it tastes like. The first ingredients are orange and grapefruit juice. I'm not sure how I feel about it. What would you marinate in this? Just chicken? Anything else? Any ideas? Well, let me know in the comment section below. Next I found these plain baseball caps and they are by Anvil. It says made in Cambodia and they're 100% cotton. So I got the white one which was in a bag with some socks so I'm gonna have to uh, um, lint roller that. But I got a white hat, a dark blue hat, there's fuzz on it, I'll get that in a minute. So I got navy blue and tan. And here are the socks that caused the lint on the one hat. They are juncture, men's juncture full cushion quarter socks and you get three in a pack. I picked up two packs for either my husband and sons or either my husband and the son who lives here or my son and then the son who doesn't live here. I know that's confusing, but if my husband doesn't want them, the boys will definitely wear them. Next, I grabbed these wet sweeper cloths for the Swiffer. They're lemon scented and you get 20. The lady who works there said they worked really well, so I got a pack to try out. And I also got, you only get three in here, but I got three of the dry cloths as well, or pad refills for the Swiffer. Next, I got these solar steak lights with a disco ball on top, or that's what it looks like to me, in silver. I think they also came in black. Yeah, they did. They came in black as well. I picked up six of them to put in flower pots around the front of the house this spring. 
And then I tripped and stepped on the bag, so now I only have five, and I need to go back and get another one. And it, when I stepped on it, it sounded like a light bulb broke. It was the scariest sound. <laughs> they don't want to behave. Next, I found a bunch of spiral notebooks, and I know I've told you guys a million times that I don't need notebooks, and I don't. I don't. But I just got a bunch of them. These are all National Geographic spiral notebooks, and I bought one of each. So the first one looks like this. Isn't that beautiful? This is a 60 page notebook and spiral notebook. And on the back, it tells you that that is a butterfly nebula. That is gorgeous. Then I got this one that has Jupiter on the front. Very pretty. Then there's this one with the Orion Nebula. It says it on the back. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> I just thought it was pretty. And then there's this one with Earth and there's an astronaut and it talks about astronauts needing a lot of training. Super cool. I love them. They had two boxes that said National Geographic on it, and they were both full, and I assumed they were the same until I realized that the box in the back was bigger. I should have walked away. I should have walked away. But I thought, let me take a sneak peek in that box in the back and see what's in there. Well, I'll show you what was in there. These notebooks with 3D pictures on the front. Isn't that adorable? This one is an Arctic Fox and this these notebooks have 80 sheets in them. These are bigger but look at that Arctic Fox. You just want to hug it except it would eat your face off. And then next I found the black bear. He's so cute. He's a cute little black bear. Again he'd eat your face off. So adorable. Then this fawn, oh my gosh, look at that little face. I'm such a sucker for little baby animals. Oh, it's a Sitka blacktail fawn. It is so cute. Then a little baby harp seal. So adorable. I bet it's not showing up on camera. There it is, there it is. You can see it a little bit. Baby harp seal. I was trying to make it do the thing. Anyway, it is a little baby lion. Oh, oops, also adorable. And this one might be the cutest thing I've ever seen. Look at that little baby mountain gorilla. It's so hard to show you because of the glare. Anyway, it's a little baby mountain gorilla. And he is so cute, or she is adorable. So I got 10 notebooks that I did not need based on just what was on the front of them. I will, however, be sharing these with my family, so it won't be that bad. Next, I found these 30 count Bolero cleansing body wipes. These are alcohol free, so these are not antibacterial hand wipes, but I think they would be good for a quick, you know, refresh if you're all sweaty. So this one is raspberry and fresh mint. That sounds amazing. Then I got lavender and coconut oil. These wipes are six and a half by 8.2 inches. I picked up sweet orange and jojoba. And citrus lime and tea tree oil which I will probably give away because like I've said before, I don't like the smell of tea tree oil. And those are the only four scents I saw in my store. And then I found this cleansing alcohol-free hand therapy mist in lavender and coconut oil. I only picked up one of these. I'm pretty sure they came in all four of those scents, but I'm not quite sure what the purpose of this is. It's alcohol-free cleansing hand therapy mist. 
and it says apply generous generous amount to hands rub in and let dry so I don't really know what the point is if hmm if it's not antibacterial I just picked up one I'm gonna give it a try real quick and see see if it does anything at all maybe it moisturizes all right so here it is my hands are super dry so hopefully oops <laughs> I don't know how much a generous amount is it smells good oh I think it did moisturize a little bit or I can't tell if it's that or if they're just wet if nothing else it made my hands smell really nice yeah again I don't really get it unless unless it's just for moisturizing maybe so maybe so then I came across these. I've gotten these in the past. I love them. They make great gifts and they're really good for people who are fidgety. And I just want to let you know quickly, that is not at all moisturizing. My hands feel just as dry as they did before. So I don't get what the point of this is. Anybody has any ideas? I would love to hear them. Yeah, I don't get it. Anyway, <laughs> they had the bubblies back. They had so many. This is the store on Haynes Road across from Goodwill. So they had these bubblies. I love these. I love the squishies with the, well, with the Orbeez in the middle. So I got the sun. It's a sun and the puppy, I think. It's hard to show you, but it's got a little body down here and then it's got a sun for a head. And they had a ton of these. They had them in two different places in the store too. So then I got the one that looks like a gummy bear in pink. Then I got this one that I think is a strawberry headed dog. I'm not quite sure. And lastly, I got this little guy who kind of reminded me from, do you guys remember Ah Real Monsters? I mean, I know his eyes were up on his antenna hands, whatever, but it's what it made me think of. So I got the green monster. Those are so fun to play with. They're very good for stress. I'm gonna move a couple over to the side. Next, I was shocked to find this. This is by Tulip. It is Tulip Color Shot Instant Fabric Color Outdoor Upholstery Spray. And this is eight ounces and it is in Oh, cocoa brown. Very cool. I got two of these. Just maybe spray some chair, some fabric chairs I have outside. Change the color of them. We'll see. I think it's pretty cool. I actually didn't know this was a was a thing. Never heard of it before. So the store on Haynes Road also had these Copper Fit Guardwell face protectors. And it says copper infused, and these are youth sizes, eight plus. I picked up one in the pink. It says lightweight, breathable, comfortable, secure fit. Copper technology, anti-odor, and it has uh, sun protection, washable. And it says copper technology, oh, I said that already. Anyway, this is what it looks like on the back. I picked up one in pink. And one in blue they had a lot of the pink ones and just a few of the blue ones left and then lastly also from the Haynes Road store they had a ton of these they had them right as you walk in the door and then they had them on another aisle on one of the aisles as well but the as seen on TV safe and healthy disinfecting UV lights I've seen so many people haul these I just assumed we'd never get them or that they came through and you know were gone but I walked in that store today and these were hanging right by the front door. So yeah, I don't know. Has anybody tried these yet? I picked up a few. I got one for me and then one for each of my sons and one for my friend. And they had, like I said, so many of them in the store. That's why I'm wondering if maybe they just don't work. It says directions for use. It says directions for use. It is a violation of federal law to use this product in a manner inconsistent with its labeling and instructions. Okay. <laughs> anyway, it says great for masks, toys, electronics, cars, 
shipping boxes and doorknobs. And then it's also great for all of those things as well. So yeah, I don't know, probably should do some research on it, but for a dollar a piece, I went ahead and grabbed them. So yeah, like I said, I never thought we'd see them since everybody's hauled them a while ago. Alrighty, let's see if I can fit it up here. Okay, so that is everything I picked up this time around at, well, two Dollar Trees. And now I have some pictures to show you of some items I saw in the store that I didn't need. And after you watch those, meet me right back here. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed those pictures and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up. And also, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you get notified every time I upload new videos. It's totally free, so why not? <laughs> you can also find me over on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.